Welcome back, and today we're going to have part three of the ice house modification. I am going to be building a power box to power the whole unit. So this will be my power box, a little bit bigger than I was looking for. Uh, ordered this offline at, in metric, couldn't tell you, uh, seven inches, yeah, seven and seven eighths by four and five eighths by just under three inch. And what we're going to be doing is using a Makita drill battery. Which I got one. I'm going to use the Makita drill battery and there she goes. Now she locks. Yeah, that's going to power my setup to the front to get those bolt holes to line up. So what will happen is, is I will end up having to put these two bolts or screws in once I put the lid on. But once I put the lid on, I shouldn't really have to go back in here uh, unless I got to change a fuse. So that's that. We're going to be using the 2.5 millimeter barrel plugs they actually thread and lock on so you can't pull them apart so I like them not bad uh, remember what I paid eight ten bucks and there's five male and females in here so what we're gonna do with that next bit of goodies will be installing a DC voltmeter so I know what kind of power I'm getting I have to cut a round hole for that these are pretty easy to put in I got a positive they got a negative and that's that not bad, uh, another six bucks for that. Some of this garbage. Brains of the operation. Going to be a buck converter. So we'll come in here at 18 volts. We're going to go out at 12 volts. This is actually a nice little unit, full of aluminum. So, yeah, this looks pretty good. Happy to see that. We're just going to wing it. And the switches, two, four, six, got eight of them. Green, because I like green. Pretty simple, on off, three contacts will be your power in, your power out, and your negative to power the light. Not sure how I'm going to lay this out. The idea is to have the switches on the top, like so. and plugs on the side. So we'll do some time lapse. We'll speed this whole thing up. I will show you when I make these connections how I do that and we'll go from there.
There we go. So center post is wired up to red. Outside of the barrel is wired up to black. And that's how we're going to do that. When we're done, we will pot this whole thing in hot glue so nothing can touch and it'll kind of uh, keep it from corroding as well since this is going to be out on the ice. Okay, so this is the finished product. Here is my battery mount. Comes through the side of the box. I have everything hot glued for uh, water resistant to my buck converter. Power comes out to my main power switch. The power is then daisy chained off the main power switch to the four switches. And then on the other side of the switch is my individual uh, port barrel connectors. So got the voltage in the front. Cut my own sticker for it. Got it listed. Uh, cargo, my overhead primary light, uh, lights that I'm going to put in the sled, and then an auxiliary in case I add some extra lights. Main power switch. Barrel plugs. Each has a number. This coincides one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The back side, I have not added the uh, mounting clip. Once I do that, I'll show you that. But, I'm trying to do this one handed. Put the battery on. Got my voltage there, running 12.2 off an 18 volt battery. All my switches are on. Shut the main power off. All the switches are off. And that's that. <clears throat> how you wire it up is your choice. This is how I did it. I'm not saying that this is the proper way to do it. Uh, do with it what you like and hopefully it works out for you so yeah 18 volt to 12 volt and that is my power box